Hello students, in present video, I am going to explain about 12th problem from depreciation topic. I am taking this question from Pankaj Publications book. See the question first. On 1st July 2006, Vishal repurchased a missionary for 40,000 rupees. On 31st October 2008, one fourth of the missionary which was purchased on 1st July 2006 was sold for 5,600 as it became absolence. Absolence means damaged. On the same day, the company purchased another missionary for 15,000 rupees. Assuming the rate of depreciation at 10% per annum on diminishing balance method, prepare missionary account for the year ended 31st December 2009. Company always closes its books of accounts every 31st December of the year. So 31st December of every year they are closing the accounts. Means they are following calendar year. See this is a missionary account. Date particular amount. Date particular amount. First what happened? On 1st July 2006, Vishal repurchased a missionary for 40,000 rupees. So when they purchased the missionary, debit side we should show. 1st July 2006. When missionary is purchased, debit said we should write to bank account. They purchase the missionary for 40,000 rupees now in amount column 40,000. Continuation is on 31st October 2008, one fourth of the missionary which was purchased on 1st July 2006 was sold for 5,600. So up to 31st October 2008, only one mission we have. So, in 2006 year, 2006 starting date is 1st January 2006, ending date 31st December 2006, because calendar year they are following. In 2006 year, this 40,000 worth of missionary only we have. In 2007 also we have the same mission now. So, for 2006-2007, how to prepare the missionary account, first we will see. Every year on 31st December, they are closing the accounts. Therefore, depreciation we have to calculate on that day. So, 2006 year end is 31st December 6. On that date, credit side we have to write by depreciation account. And calculation is cost of the asset 40,000. No? 40,000 into, in question he has given that depreciation we have to calculate at 10% per annum. Therefore, 10 by 100 into how many months we use this asset? In 2006, on 1st July we purchased, no? Means, July we used August, September, October, November, December. Total 6 months we used in 2006. Therefore, into 6 by 12. So, if you do this, 2000 will come. So, in 2006 year, on 40,000 worth of asset, for 6 months, depreciation is 2000. Then, on the same day, credit side, we have to calculate balance carried down. Debit side total, 40,000 minus credit side total, 2000 is equal 38,000 rupees. So, balance carried down is 38,000. Two sides write down, highest total, 40,000, 40,000. 2006 is completed. Now, come to 2007. Credit side balance carried down came now. That amount, debit side, we should bring. Two balance brought down. Date is next date of this date. So, today's date is 31st December 2006. Then tomorrow, 1st January 2007, no? write down that date. And we are bringing this amount here. Therefore, we should write two balance brought down. Amount is 38,000 rupees. Now, in 2007 year, there is no additional purchase and there is no sale. So, only one machine we have. Therefore, on that machine, at the end of 2007 year, we have to calculate the depreciation. So, depreciation credit side we should show. 2007 last date is 31st December 7. On that day, by depreciation. And in question is giving that we have to provide depreciation under diminishing balance method. If it is fixed installment method, every year we have to calculate depreciation on original cost of the asset. But this is diminishing balance method problem. So here the feature is every year on the opening balance of the asset we have to calculate the depreciation. 
first year opening balance is 40000 on that we have calculated in second year opening balance is 38000 no cost is 40000 but opening balance 38000 on 38000 we have to calculate the depreciation so 38000 into 10 by 100 into how many months we used in 2007 from 1st january to 31st december whole year we have this asset no therefore into 12 by 12 12 by 12 we need not to write therefore no need to take the months here so 38000 into 10 by 100 is 3800 then on the same day balance carried down 38000 minus 3800 is equal 34200 so second year is completed come to third year this date next date is 1st january 8 2 this balance carried down amount we have to bring therefore 2 balance brought down 34200 and in 2008 here what happened see the question again on 31st october 2008 one fourth of the missionary which was purchased on 1st july 2006 was sold for 5600 so on 1st july 2006 which mission we purchased this first mission cost is 40000 total asset is not sold in this 40000 worth asset one fourth only they sold when on 31st october 2008 so that one fourth asset depreciation we should write one fourth asset sale related profit or loss also we should calculate so when asset is purchased debit side we are writing to bank when asset is sold credit side we should write they sold on 31st october right now write down that date by bank and they sold this one fourth asset for how much 5600 write down that value and up to that date now we have to calculate depreciation on this one fourth asset so depreciation in first year and second year we are calculating on 31st December but in third year this one fourth asset we have up to 31st October only now therefore on that day only we have to calculate the depreciation on one fourth asset don't calculate the depreciation up to 31st December because up to that date we don't have that asset so 31st October 8 by depreciation and how to calculate on this first asset 40,000 worth asset this is diminishing balance now on opening balance we, we have to calculate the depreciation so here opening balance is 34200 but this is the opening balance of total asset and we are calculating one fourth asset depreciation only therefore in this opening balance i want a one fourth asset opening balance then how it will come 34200 is the opening balance of total asset we want one fourth asset opening balance only therefore 34200 into 1 by 4 we should do 8550 so on that at the rate of 10% for how many months we have to calculate depreciation from when to when we have this asset in 2008 january to 31st october means january february march april may june july august september october 31st means last date of october therefore october also we have to count total 10 months are coming so 8550 into 10 percent into 10 by 12 if you do this 712.5 comes and better to take the roundup value how to take that after point digit is 5 no if digit is 5 or more than 5, we should add one number. If digit is less than 5, then we can ignore that. So here, after point 5 is there. Therefore, add one number. So 712 becomes 713. And in this sale, we may get a profit or loss. That also we have to calculate. So separately in working notes, we have to calculate. Leave some space here and see the working notes. Heading is calculation of profit or loss in sale of one fourth missionary see first cost we should take total asset cost is 40,000 in that one fourth missionary cost only we need therefore into 1 by 4 
is equal ten thousand. So cost of a sold asset, one fourth asset is ten thousand. From this one fourth asset depreciation, we should deduct. So in two thousand six year, on total asset depreciation is available in the missionary account two thousand rupees. In this two thousand, one fourth only I need. Therefore, two thousand into one by four, five hundred rupees. Similarly, two thousand seven year. On forty thousand worth asset in two thousand seven year depreciation is three thousand eight hundred. This is the depreciation on full asset, but we want one fourth asset depreciation only. Therefore, three thousand eight hundred into one by four nine fifty. Then in two thousand eight separately one fourth asset depreciation only is available now seven thirteen directly you can take that. So. In 2006, on one fourth asset depreciation is 500. In 2007, on one fourth asset depreciation is 950. In 2008, one fourth asset depreciation is 713. If you add these three amounts, total depreciation is 2163. So one fourth asset cost minus one fourth asset total depreciation is equal 7837. So this is a book value of one fourth asset on selling date. So this is a one fourth asset book value and a one fourth asset sale value. We should compare. In question, he is giving that this one fourth asset is sold for five thousand six hundred rupees. So seven thousand eight thirty seven worth asset we sold for five thousand six hundred. So we sold for less. There is a loss of two thousand two thirty seven. This amount we should show in the missionary account. We said if profit comes debit side we should show. If loss comes credit side. So as this is loss credit side we have to write. For loss don't write by loss account. You have to write by profit and loss account. Means this loss again we are going to transfer to profit and loss account. And date is when we sell a set on that day only loss comes no. Therefore, for loss also date is same. Thirty first October eight. Loss is two thousand two thirty seven. So related to sold asset, everything is completed. So sold asset well completed. Now come to continuation of this problem. On the same day means on selling date thirty first October eight. What happened? On the same day, the company purchased another machine for fifteen thousand. So now second asset also came. When we purchase the asset, debit side we should write no to bank account. They purchased it for fifteen thousand rupees. Write down that. And when they purchased on the same day, so asset sale date is thirty first October eight. Write down the same day, fifteen thousand. Now fifteen thousand worth asset is not sold, and In this first asset, one fourth is sold, means three fourth is left with us, no? So that asset and fifteen thousand worth asset till thirty first December we have. Therefore, on these two assets, on thirty first December eight, we have to calculate the depreciation. So thirty first December eight by depreciation. Now two assets depreciation we need. See the first asset cost is forty thousand. And this first asset opening balance on first January eight is thirty four thousand two hundred. In this, we want three fourth asset opening balance only, because now three fourth asset only is left over now. How it comes thirty four thousand two hundred total asset opening balance into three four is equal twenty five thousand six fifty. So remaining asset, three fourth asset opening balance on first January eight is twenty five six fifty. On this ten percent depreciation, and this is a three fourth asset. We used for whole year, no, from first January eight to thirty first December eight. Therefore, months are not required here. Amount depreciation is two thousand five sixty five. So. In this first asset, remaining asset, three fourth asset, depreciation is two thousand five sixty five in two thousand eight year. 
Now come to second aside. 15,000. 15,000 into 10% into how many months we used in 2008? We purchased it on 31st October. Means October already completed. So how many months we used? November, December. Only two months we used. Therefore, into 2 by 12. Then value is 250. So first asset depreciation 2565. Second asset depreciation 250. If you add these two, total depreciation is 2815. So in 2008 year, in first asset, three fourth asset depreciation plus second asset, two months depreciation. Total is 2815. Now, on the same date, balance carried down, we should calculate. So, balance carried down. How it comes? First, debit total 34,200 plus 1,500 is equal to 49,200. So, 49,200 minus all these amounts. 5,600, 713, 2,237, 2,815. Then, the balance carried down will be 37,835 rupees. So, two sides put the highest value. 49,200, 49,200. And in question, up to which date he is asking? Prepare missionary account for the year ended 31st December 2009. Up to 2009 December 31st, he is asking us to show the missionary account. So, one more year is there, no? 2008 completed, now 2009. Then this balance carried down amount bring on debit side. So date is 1st January 9, 2 balance brought down and in 2009 at the year end 31st December 9, how many machines we have? First machine in that 3 fourth value we have, second machine 15,000 worth asset also we have. So this 2 assets opening balance is 37,835. Then why to calculate separately opening balance on first asset, opening balance on second asset? Not required because in 2009 year, first asset 3 fourth part full year we have, second asset 15,000 as also full year we have. When two assets are used for full year, we need not to have opening balances separately. Even though separately you calculate 10% and if you add same value comes. Then why that lengthy calculation? So on 37,835 rupees, directly 10% we can calculate. Then depreciation will be 3783.5. Therefore, round of value 3784. Write down in outer column. So this is the depreciation on 3 fourth asset for full year. On 15,000 worth asset, second asset for full year. Then on the same date, balance carried down. How it comes? Debit total 37,835 minus credit amount 3784 is equal 34,051 rupees. And up to 31st December 9 only he asked us to prepare asset account. So up to that date we prepared but asset account is not at closed. Balance carried down is appearing. Therefore for next date bring the balance and stop the problem. So, 31st December 2009, next date is 1st January 2010. This balance carried down becomes balance brought down. And amount is 34,051 rupees. So, asset account is completed. Now, take a screenshot of these two pages. First page. Continuation is here. So this is the end of present video. Hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.